want to start today off with an opening exercise. It's like one of my most favorite exercises. We're going to start out with a poem. Um, this is how we're going to get to know each other on this first day. So Maggie is coming around and she's going to pass out this template. We're all going to know that we're going to do it with you. So In Our Own Words is an after-school creative arts program for youth in Worcester, Massachusetts. This rendition of the program, we have about 20 students from Claremont Academy in grades 7 through 9. The ninth graders are um, currently acting as mentors, which is a brand new mentorship component that we've added to this program this year. Um, so it's in its pilot stages. A lot of the students that we get for the Poetry and Art Club are not normally students that you would assume would want to take the Poetry and Art Club. Like some of them prefer to draw more than reading and some of them really like writing but they're not so into the art aspect and some of them aren't even that particularly interested in talking about things in analytical terms and they tell us that they don't particularly enjoy school. But I think that when they come to our Poetry and Art Club there's not a certain type of student that we get or a certain type of kid. I think it's just the fact that they can all come and have conversations about common topics. Um, those are the kinds of people that we get that want to come and express their opinions. Even if they don't necessarily know what we're going to talk about, they just want to be heard. We have a really cool program full of incredible kids, like top notch, I'm telling you. We have students who, um, English is their first language, they've grown up in this country and like this is all they know, um, students who have like grown up in this country but are completely bilingual in English and Spanish. We have students who are recent arrivals and are learning English as they're in school and as they're part of this club. Um, and we've seen so much development in that language like since the club started, which is really cool. So we really want to provide a space for those students where both they can try out English and be around English speakers, but also where their language is seen as really valuable. You know, whenever we do poetry writing or anything, we have them, we say, you know, you can write in Spanish or Nepali or whatever language you want to express yourself in. Um, so that's a really important facet of the program for us. The poetry inside out aspect of our program is intended to be um, so that's like, it's a poetry translation workshop basically, um, where students translate poems from around the world from their original languages into English. So it's intended to kind of take these poems that you would find in a literature class in college and sort of give them new meaning and um, encourage our kids to feel ownership over those poems and kind of get them involved in these great works of literature that they typically are not given access to in such a same way. Apart from that, the translation process, um, something that's cool about it is that it really does raise all these questions of meaning and authorship and ownership over meaning. Um, like what does a poem mean and who decides what it means? I need your attention please, thank you. We need one volunteer for the first table, who wants to read? You guys wanna go first? Okay. Storage room has burned down, very lacking. An impediment, a barrier, has gone. 
I finally found the moon. also include an art aspect where we like to focus on self-expression because a lot of these poems draw on things that were important um, from the poet or draw on things that the poet might find important to them and so we like to get the kids to also focus on like what they find important because we think that it provides better continuity so that the concepts aren't so abstract. We alternate days so one day they'll be translating poetry and then the next week the next session they'll be making art either writing poetry or drawing, painting, etc. So at the start of the semester, that was sort of our format. Poetry Inside Out Day, Art Day, Poetry Inside Out Day, Art Day. And now for the last few sessions, we're gearing up for the final event, which is a big uh, exhibition performance where they're gonna uh, showcase their work. And so for the, the next few sessions, they're just working on writing poems and creating self-portraits and creating their own Poetry Inside Out poem pages that we're going to put together as a, as a booklet. We also have some undergraduates that are experts in the art field. We like to rely on the knowledge of our undergraduates who might be experts in the art field to prepare um, presentations for the undergraduates and for the other students and present them. And then we um, leave space for students and undergraduates who also might know things about these artists because we all can act as experts to share their opinions as well. And so that's what we do for our Poetry and Art Club. They're not paintings? No, they're real. What are they? Photographs. They're real, real photographs? Yeah. You know how they originally took photos before we had digital cameras? With black and white, what did they print it on? They used to film and they printed it in? In the dark room. In the dark room, there you go. The points we made about movies were really good. Um, Starting like the third session, we started doing games halfway through because the kids were just like having trouble. Like we did this really long poem one day and I was like, we should do a break and play games. And like the kids loved it. And we loved the way that the kids like interacted in games. Poems that are longer take longer, obviously shorter poems may be easier, but we want the kids to get up and stay energized. So we'll have an undergraduate lead an activity. So we will physically stand up and we have different activities such as wah or captain's calling and just things to keep the kids um, to keep the kids centered when they have to sit back down and focus. Captain's calling. And if you laugh, you're out. Got it? <laughs> they took they they learned so quickly the nonverbal interactions of the games and they use the language tools that they have to use in the classroom at their schools in Claremont to completely understand like the interactions that we do with the games. They got so passionate about like running around and enjoying the games. So now we do games every single week and we do like a new game, throw a new one in there each time. And we've done like ones that are nonverbal and then ones that have verbal communication and they still like they they just like love the games. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Just take those out. Thank you. What? Oh, wait. Okay. 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 19. 19. 19. 19. <laughs> been the most significant thing that they've taught you in return? 
Oh, that's a really good question. This is the question that caught me. Really? Okay. <laughs> like, that's a really good question. Yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That's a good question. That's great. I think that they have taught me not to take myself so seriously. I don't know. I think this has been like so much more than I ever thought it would be. So every day I show up, I try and show up knowing that like I want to be here. Like they showed up to hang out with me and I want to be here with them. They don't have to come and like do all this work in English and they choose to do that and they choose to be there through playing games with them and talking about soccer however much I can in English you know with them like there's I feel like we have developed connections despite having this this language barrier I don't know I just like don't think that there will ever be enough words to talk about like how in our own words has impacted everyone and like how the, the students have like taken that in. They've taught me it's not about me, I think, more than anything. It's about people, and that's what trying to make a better world is about. It's about people.